Thank you for joining today's Words of Wisdom with Prayers. People around the world are made a full of by unknown charm of AI, artificial intelligence. May those people understand the true nature of this world and use AI as a tool for supporting happiness of human beings. Now, today's words of wisdom is AI will never surpass the wisdom of God. This time too, I would like to introduce a teaching of happy science related to AI, artificial intelligence. Last time I introduced the teaching from a view of jobs that only humans can do, not robots. Today, I'd like to introduce you a teaching from a view of AI will never surpass the wisdom of God. The Future of Life Institute, a non-profit organization funded by Mr. Elon Musk and others who you may know, has published an open letter. Pause Giant AI Experience. Pause Giant AI Experience. It says, we call on all AI labs to immediately pause for at least six months the training of AI systems more powerful than GPT-4. As the organization website mentions as a risk, a future in which AIs see humans as a threat and AIs dominate humans. As described in the movies, I, Robot, The Terminators, Transcendence, and etc. It is something to be feared without joking. What is needed to prevent such a future is not only with holding development and building up institutions as Mr. Musk and others advocate but also the understanding and penetration of religious view of world and human beings. In this regard, Master Okawa teaches the following in, in this Kyoten, the laws of steel, from the laws of steel, page 200. The advancement of the machine civilization will not be hampered by the belief in materialism. Maybe it will bring more benefits. If life was limited only to this world, it would be preferable for life on Earth 
to be easier and more comfortable. So the more that world becomes convenient, the better it would be. Such a world would produce more people without a sense of guilt, even if they killed someone. Everything, including good and evil, could be determined by artificial intelligence, AI. Unlike what I said earlier, and the time may come when people start to destroy others at the order of AI. However, no matter what kind of age may come, and even if machines are invented to calculate much faster than humans and store much more knowledge and information, AI will never surpass the wisdom of God. Therefore, in the end, it is essential to be aware that God's words are everything. It says, in the end, it is essential, essential to be aware that God's words are everything. Master Oka has taught words of God by Kyoten of 3,100 titles. This is a vast number of words of God. The, these words are filled with words that make people happy. Words that awaken those who do not realize they are unhappy. Words that save those who are headed toward unhappy. Words that leads unhappy people to happiness. Words that help happy people help unhappy people, and so on. And the previous excerpt is followed by this. From the Lords of Steel, page 201 to 202. Purify your mind and make it clear. Always return to the starting point and be aware that you should live out your life for others and the world. That is the hundred years of life given to you. This is important. And to keep this attitude in your life, you must always stay awakened to spirituality. Never forget spirituality. This world is not everything, nor is in an academic background. Any earthly power, the company one works for, or material possessions, Physical beauty does not matter. These are not important. What is truly important is how deeply you are connected to God or Buddha, whether you are one with him. It is essential to live this life to the full set as a tool of God or Buddha. A savior is born on earth to this end. Once you hear the savior's command, come join them and work together. That is important. If left as it is, this earthly world will become more 
advantageous for the devils to gain power. With the increase in population, the number of people who believe that this world is all that exists has also increased. The time is now when we must gain much greater power. Awakened one must come forward in greater numbers. People with a spiritual disposition must be careful not to misuse their spiritual ability as they live. I sincerely hope that as you are fully aware of difficulties of living in this in the modern age, you will strictly control yourself and keep moving forward. AI couldn't teach you spirituality. It's important. So now, let's all study the words of God. Let's share it with those around us. Let's extend the hand of true happiness. In the description section of this YouTube video, you will find the links for today's related Kyoten. The laws of steel, the laws of a messiah, and the reason we are here. Please access those links. Also included the link for this year's most important Kyoten, the laws of hell. Please visit the site, visit the site app, play order. For your copy. Now let us recite a peace and prayers. Lord El Cantare. Master Liu Ho Oka, thank you very much for giving us a great light every day. We practice the principles of happiness, love, wisdom, self-reflection, and progress to make the world better with our brothers and sisters. With our gratitude, we will recite the true words spoken by Buddha. Pray to the Lord. And prayer to guardian and guiding spirits. The true words spoken by Buddha, Riho Oka. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy. And Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven. Through the prism of Buddha, there appear the seven colors of rainbow arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other, and there appears Buddha land. But the land is shining brightly because of gathering of bodhisattvas. This is the land of love or the land of mercy. This is the land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, this is the land of souls, rest in peace. We are souls are the children of Buddha. <coughs> the children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. 
Yes, yeah, spirits are immortal powers. The yeah, spirits are immortal forces. The yeah, spirits are real entities. The yeah, physical bodies are the shadows of the spirits. It means you are the boat sailing down Great River. The yeah, Great River is a symbol of the course of lives. Each of you sails down as a small boat, so you need a boatman. If it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock. And you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the true words. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to pan in a stream. Then you can change your course. The true words means the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the true words. And Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days. Or, to put it another way, the fruits of Buddha's mercy. All of you now here, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this white hand and go safely on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your past have already gone by. Yet still, your mistakes will be kept in your mind. That is the reason why you should understand other people. And you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other. Let us bring up each other. And it's time to forgive each other. This is the eternal law which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night, the dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future to invite sad people to Buddha land. Now, here I command, there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirits in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world, utopia, shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. The world is utopia. All of us could be the light of bodhisattvas, believing that the light has reality, believing that love has reality, believing that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together work together to keep right in mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here we vow to do so. Prayer to the Lord. Our Lord El Cantare, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. Our Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love, Earth. Protect us from all evil. And open a future for us, our Lord. Thank you for giving us light. We give thanks.
from the bottom of our hearts. Prayer to Guardian and Guiding Spirits. My Guardian and Guiding Spirits, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and the seed of courage. Every day, may you help me live up my soul and refine my mind. Every day, may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil and guide me in living a better life. For this, I give my thanks. Thank you for joining. Have a wonderful day.